Good evening. Uh, my name is Sajid Rajpatsa from the University of Saskatchewan, and I'll be presenting uh, our work on classification of crop lodging with gray level coherence matrix. So, uh, lodging is the collapse of the cereal stem when it can no longer support its own weight. In basic terms, this is when plants fall over. Uh, this can uh, take uh, up to 40% of your harvest away and could make the harvesting process uh, very, uh, very much harder uh, due to the harvesting machines not picking up all your crop. And this is mainly caused by phenotypes such as weak stems and weak root systems and can be bred out if those uh, phenotypes are identified. And in order to create uh, lodging resistant varieties, uh, plant breeders conduct large field trials to identify these uh, phenotypes. Currently, uh, the classification of lodging is done by human inspection which, uh, which can be both time consuming and subjective. And our objective of uh, this project was to automate this process per plot base using uh, UAV images. Our data set consisted of uh, images captured in the 2016 growing season and uh, we focused on mainly two field trials that was done by our agricultural department. And one, uh, one of them is the field trial. And so you can see the little uh, rectangular shaped uh, sections and that is a plot and each of those little rectangular uh, shapes are different variety of uh, the wheat and same with canola. Uh, we used a semi-automatic uh, method to crop out each plot and used it with uh, human observation uh, labels. In order to do this we decided to use a support vector machine trained with textural features and to compare different methods of textural features we used uh, local binder patterns, Gaber filter banks, and gray level Cochrane matrices. To train, we, uh, we only used uh, features extracted from the whole plot due to labeling being for the whole plot, and only features that was uh, deemed uh, discriminative was used on, uh, in the training. And for testing, we decided to break the plot into 10 more uh, subplot neighborhoods and classify each. And uh, in the case where two, more than two uh, subplots were classified as lodged, we classified the whole plot as lodged. And uh, in both cases, uh, the model trained on gray level Cochrane matrix performed the best uh, with classifying 474 uh, wheat samples with 92.6 accuracy and 427 canola samples with 96% accuracy. And using the classification of these subplots, we were able to create a heat map visualization of the whole field, uh, which allowed uh, the plant scientists to see patterns in the field and uh, hopefully, hopefully pick correct breeds, uh, varieties of uh, the crop to breed the next lodging resistant varieties and to create the next upcoming varieties of uh, wheat and canola. Thank you very much.